Well, I got a box of goodies in. Matter of fact, I got two boxes of goodies in. Let me show you what I got. And if you're not there yet, if you haven't bought seed yet, if you're not thinking about gardening yet, and I realize some of you up north, we're a little early, but I'm late. I'll tell you right now I'm late. Um, let me just open them, lay them out, and then we'll show you what all we got. But uh, I should have probably started seeds probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, usually I, I do so at the end of January, 1st of uh, February. I want to give them about six weeks before they're viable uh, enough to put in the ground. And that sounds about right. Well, let me just show you this first. That's my, my uh, organic fertilizer. Hoss 543, complete organic. It's got nitrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, calcium, and gosh, I'm gonna put my glasses on to find out what else. But it's got a little bit of everything in it. But anyway, that's my some of my fertilizer. And then I got some 20, 20, 20. One bag of that, that's a 10 pound bag. Those uh, complete fertilizers are um, 10 pounds. I've got two of these 20, 20, 20, 10 pound, 20, 20, 20. So that's 20 pounds of 20, 20, 20, and 20 pounds of the 543. Now this box has the seeds in it and some, some, of, the, some of the goodies that help the other goodies be good. If that makes any sense whatsoever. And that is that stuff right there. That's that micro boost. I tell you what, when I have used that in the past, it has really boosted. Well, I didn't want to use that as a pun. It has really helped um, everything. Uh, blackberries, vegetables. Uh, I put it on fruit trees, um, like uh, figs and such. And I don't know, it's got, well, I don't have my glasses on. Magnesium, sulfur boron, copper, iron, manganese, molly, molybdenum, zinc, and probably some other trace uh, elements. But that is, it's just, it's like a syrup. It's almost like a molasses. Uh, brown like that, shake up the bottle real good because I'm sure some of it settles. Shake it up real good and then, um, and then put about a, well, depends on what you're doing. If you're doing a, um, a fertilizer injector, then I put about a cup in my uh, two gallon fertilizer injector that it distributes to the whole thing. All right, there's first of the seeds. That is my ambrosia corn, sweet corn. Really, really good sweet corn. And there's my pellisted gypsum. Consider that a fertilizer, but it's, uh, it's, it, it helps, um, it helps the uh, containers that I've used synthetic fertilizer in, and probably still will use some synthetic, but it helps those containers, uh, it helps, helps reduce the salt in those containers. Uh, for most fertilizer has salt in it, and the more you use, especially in a closed environment like a container, I'm just a little concerned about the salt buildup in my container. So uh, this year I'm, I'm gonna try to do mostly organic. The 2020-20 is not organic, so I'll use that, but uh, Anyway, there's your pelleted gypsum. Uh, that is great for tomatoes, roses. Uh, improves heavy clay soil, which is what I have, except A, I'm in containers. B, when I'm not in containers, it's soil that I have built up through uh, deep, 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 deep mulch uh, uh, applications. And it's just, now it's not, there's clay, hard clay soil underneath, but they're not clay soil um, uh, anymore as far as what I would plant in. I would plant in the, the top layer of the black compost. There's some Chilean nitrate, that's 1502. That is for corn and uh, also good, I think, for onions and such. But uh, really good for, I believe that's organic too. So that's all the fertilizer and the, uh, let me just put the corn seeds back over here and let me show you the rest of the seeds. Got lots of seeds to show you here. 
All this from Hoss. I recommend Hoss. I, that gummit, I've just never got any bad seed from them. Uh, I've had some times when I did things wrong. Uh, I'm not real good at seedless watermelon. There's just a trick to that, and I just have not developed that yet. But here's the Hoss Premium Garden Seeds. Um, that is, I, I bought some tobacco. I grew tobacco, I don't smoke, but I grew some tobacco years ago. Came out really good. I think tobacco might be one of the things in a, in a barter apocalyptic zombies on the foot type situation. Maybe tobacco, so, so I got some. Um, there's a gourd, caveman's club gourd. I don't eat uh, melons. I like watermelons. I don't really eat honeydews or things like that, but uh, these look good. And I'm going to plant them anyway because everybody else around me eats them. There's that heatless habanero, roulette heatless habanero. Those are really good. I've never had a hot one, and it does have a, a, a good... Good taste. Mercury cucumbers, those are really uh, prolific, very prolific. Go prize squash, I've, I planted those the last three or four years. Just real, real slick uh, skin and just uh, really good. I eat them raw out in the, out in the garden. I'll, I'll break one off and take a bite. They're, they're, and I'm not a squash guy really, but they're good. There's a Deli Star cucumber. I believe that is a slicing cucumber. The mercury is a pickling cucumber. Uh, that's a sugar baby uh, watermelon. They don't get very big, uh, you know, about as big as a, a little bit bigger maybe than a bowling ball, but really, really sweet. I mean, really good, really sweet. Another gold prize squash. There's my burpless uh, supreme. I, when I eat a cu cucumber, I want it to be burpless. So I, I'm really sold on the burpless and their burpless cucumber, the burpless supreme is very, very good. That is called a slick pick squash. It looks like a very long, slender squash. Never planted that before. We're gonna give that a shot. Mountain Vineyard tomatoes. These are like a, uh, it's not a cherry. It's a little bit bigger than a cherry, as I remember. But uh, very good, uh, very good tomato. Another mercury cucumber. I plan on making me some pickles this year, some more pickles. We hadn't run out, but I'm gonna make some more anyway. A Bella Rosa tomato, that's more like a Roma tomato. There's a red snapper, and i tell you what, folks, if you hadn't grown red snapper, I really, really recommend the red snapper tomato. They get big, they're tasty, they're disease resistant. Uh, they're just very, very good. I've, I've grown red snapper for at least the last three, uh, three years, maybe four. There's a Hossinator, I hadn't tried that yet. Hossinator tomato, it's a, it's a big one. I think maybe their answer to a beef steak or something that someone developed for them, or they developed, I'm not sure. Another Burpless Supreme Cuke. I don't eat hot peppers that much, but I can sometimes eat a cayenne. So here's some long slim cayenne. They get, uh, they get big, they get uh, four, five, six inches long or more. Red Marconi, I love the red Marconi uh, pepper. They get huge, uh, they get five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 inches long. They're sweet pepper, good stuffing pepper, uh, just an Italian pepper, no heat, just really, really good, thick walled, and just a good, good pepper. There's the Celebrity, I am gonna grow some Celebrities. The Orient Wonder Green Bean, now those are those long, uh, yard long green beans and those are open pollinated so you can save seed on those I have saved them in the past but the Orient Wonder bean speckled swan gourd I don't know why I got gourds but I did I'm gonna grow some gourds and uh, they just look cool got the long long neck on them almost like a trombone squash another sugar baby a Colossus jalapeno uh, these are the giant jalapenos that you can uh, you know, grow big enough to stuff and really look good. Anyway, I hope you are um, actively uh, looking for seed, doing your shopping, uh, looking at your catalogs, looking at the house website, ordering. Uh, I have a feeling that um, fertilizer is going to get scarce this year like it has been in the past. So get your fertilizer ordered or get your fertilizer bought if you buy it at a feed store or something. Get it done, get it bought. If you buy from Hoss, I would. I don't know what their stocks look like, but I would definitely uh, go ahead and get some. Uh, get your fertilizer in hand, ready. Uh, don't wait till you need it because it may not be 
around. Two things, if you order from Haas, get some micro boost and use my link, if you will. Um, I get a small stipend from it, but also it lets them know that the support they give me is well-founded because I have sent you there and that you're watching. So if you will, I've got a link below to Haas and uh, it's my associate link. If you would, please use that. But get you some micro boost and get you some uh, start right now. Get you some, if you're up north, wherever you are, start right now with some seeds. If you're down south, you need to start your seeds. I'm late, you're late. Let's get some seeds started. Tomorrow, uh, my wife's gonna have a surprise when I start seeds in the middle bedroom. She's not gonna be, probably not gonna be crazy about it, but it is what it is. And I'll show you that when I get her going and I'll show you the seed starting. But for right now, I just want to show you what I got in here. It looks good. I'm happy with it. And I'm just tickled to death to get started on gardening 2023. All right, I think that's it. We are gone.